Okay, so let's get started with the session today. <coughs> today we would see about MQI channels. Hold on a second. Today we will see about uh, MQI channels. Uh, we actually, uh, when we uh, were studying different types of MQ objects, we we were uh, we were we have learned about different types of channels: message channel and MQI channel. We saw about different types of message channel and sender channel, receiver channel, server channel, reception channel. Okay. Now. Uh, we also just briefly told about MQI channels, okay, uh, and different types. Uh, if you remember, that I had told about a server connection channel, client connection. Now we would see what in depth we would see what is MQI channel. What is MQI means MQ interface channel. Okay, what is an MQI channel? Okay, what is an MQI channel? It is a, a channel that connects your application to your server or MQQ manager. Okay, which is running on a server. Okay, so what is that? What is MQI channel? MQI channel connects your application. Okay, connects your application to your Q manager. Simple. Okay. One thing, it is a bi-directional channel. I told you message channels are unidirectional. Central channel, if you create, it can, that channel will only send messages. If you create a receiver channel, it will only receive the message. Okay, it is only unidirectional. That's why message channels, when you configure, you have to configure them in pair because it is unidirectional. One can send, one can receive. Okay, server channel also, it can only Send, receive, uh, request to them can only receive. Okay, so you have to accordingly pair them. Okay, but MQI channels, these are bi directional. Why it is bi directional? Because it is used to trans, I told you it is used to connect application to your Q manager. Okay, so it has to. How does application connect to a Q manager? It issues API calls, right? So API calls only. Really it connects, right? We told, we studied about the different API calls. Okay, like MQCon, MQConnect. Okay, MQCon is a call which application team issues to connect to Q manager. Okay, so MQ channel passes passes this call to Q manager, and it also passes the response from Q manager to application. Suppose MQ Connect was successful. It passes that information to application also. So it is like a bi-directional flow. Okay, it, it, it exchanges MQI calls between the Q manager and <coughs> between your Q manager and your application. Here, what is an MQI channel? MQ channel is MQI means MQ interface channel. What is this used? MQ interface channel connects your application or, or application can be also called as a client okay MQI client okay or in simple words it connects your application to your Q manager okay as simple as that it is a bi-directional channel what it does it takes the API calls from application it passes the API call from application to Q manager and the response from Q manager back to application. Okay, so it is a bi-directional channel. Okay, these are the important points of MQI channel. MQI channel is very important. Okay, because most of the application connects to Q manager through server connect uh, through uh, MQI channel. 
Okay. So if you see this, uh, there are two types of MQA channels. Okay. We told what is MQA channel. Now you will see what are the different types of MQA channel. Okay. There are two types. I told you one is your server connection channel. Okay. Server connection channel. Next one is your client connection channel. Okay. So if you see this diagram, you will understand. Okay. This is your IBM. It says client machine, right? Okay. This is a client machine. There is a server machine. Okay. There is a server running on which our IBM MQ is installed and our queue manager is running. Okay. This is our application. Okay. Where there is, this is our IBM MQ application. Okay. There is a client or it's called as an MQI client also. Okay. There is a MQI channel it says, right, which to connect between your client, MQI client and your IBM MQ queue manager. Okay. So, the channel which connects your client to MQ queue manager is called as your server connection. See, server connection is shown here on the server side. Okay. So, client, server connection channel is the channel which is used to connect your server to your, sorry, to connect your uh, application or your client to your queue manager. Okay. So, if application has to connect to your queue manager, it uses server connection channel. Okay. And see, I told you the second type is client connection channel. Client connection channel is actually shown at the client side. Okay. So, client connection channel is actually not used to connect. Okay. It is not used to connect. Suppose, I told you about high availability. Uh, there are some advanced features like high availability and all. Okay. Suppose, this queue manager is configured on another server also. Okay. For failover or for fault tolerance. So, suppose in the queue manager, this queue manager fails. Uh, there is another queue manager to take up the load. We will see those kind of scenarios later, okay, in our topic. If there, if there is another server, okay, how will the application know if there are two servers to connect? You know? So, there we will create a client connection channel, okay, and we will tell how many servers are available for this application to make a connection. Okay, we will see how it is defined and what all is it done. Okay, there is a uh, there is a, something called as client connection definition table. Okay, that will be created at QManager end, which has to be provided to the application team so that they will know there is a second server also to connect. So client connections are basically used at the application end. Okay, this basically it is not used by MQ QManager. Okay. It is basically used by your application to know how many servers it can connect. Okay. To connect to a particular queue manager, how many connections are available. Okay. Suppose there are two servers where our queue manager is configured. Okay. It will have the information how many servers it can connect. Suppose it loses a connection to one. Okay. It will check and see that okay, there is another connection where I can try. Okay, it will try. We will see that in this next slide. Okay. So as of now, what is server connection channel? Server connection channel is the ch MPI channel that is used to connect your application to your server. Okay. That is what it is shown in this diagram. MPI channel server connection is shown at your queue manager. That means it is used to connect your MQ applic your application to your queue manager. That is server connection channel. Client connection channel is also another type of MQA channel, but it is used at the application end. Okay, what is its function? It shows that how many connections are available for the application to connect to queue manager. Okay, clear? Are you clear? Ah, Rekha. Ah, Rekha, can you repeat one second? Which part did you, uh, are you not clear? 
Uh, you said that uh, that application can connect to to manager in uh, many ways, right? Like it can have more okay, than so one channel. Okay, so you understood server connection channel, right? Server connection simple. It 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 is it it takes up the definition of MPI channel itself. What is this? What is an MPI channel? It is used to connect your application to your queue manager. That is clear, right? What is server connection channel? Yeah, that is clear. Okay. Now we will see client connection channel. Okay, so uh, there is I don't know there is uh, are you have are you aware of disaster recovery or fault tolerance? No, you are not aware. Of that. Okay. So that means suppose there is a queue manager running. Okay, our queue manager is there. There is some problem with the server or the queue manager is down. Okay, for safety we will have a spare queue manager. Okay, running on another server so that if the actual queue manager is going down, the other queue manager 